Once again, it's beta day. Today, iOS 13 developer beta 6 was released. It appears that Apple is now on a weekly release schedule. And in this update, there's a lot of backpedaling. A lot of features that Apple introduced in beta 5 were removed while tweaking others. So I'll try and walk you through all of those. There are a number of new ones though. First thing I'll mention is I did get three gigabytes of storage returned from some caches being cleared. You may not get this result, but I always seem to get some back. First thing upon completing this update is you'll notice the update completed screen has a tweaked description. There are just a few more steps to follow and then you're done. On older devices with Touch ID, you'll notice the unlocked text on the lock screen is back here, letting you know it's safe or ready to go ahead and click through to your home screen. Beta 6 reverts the LTE icon or 5GE, 4G, whatever you have, back to the old sizing. Before it was bolder and the height of the battery icon on beta 5. On your lock screen, 3D touching on a notification brings up the prompt faster now on beta 6. By the way, everything beta 6 will be over here. And I also noticed that on older devices, if you 3D touch on a notification, you can actually see the prompt before you let your finger go now before you actually had to click it and then let go. Also on older devices, if you actually just hold on a notification, it no longer responds like that. You actually have to 3D touch on it to get that peak response. And the volume HED behavior has reverted entirely back to beta five. Now look wise, it's still a little bit sleeker, looks better, but now there are only 16 stops of volume adjustment down from the 34 in beta five, which is good. It would honestly be annoying in your pocket getting all the way down individually. Also, Apple has added a haptic feedback to a very minor adjustment. So if you hold and let go, you'll feel a very subtle haptic feedback. I think it's very pleasant. In the control center, Apple has added a new toggle here, dark appearance. And that looks just like this. So all it does is enable dark mode from the control center. Very cool. Now there are also some adjustments in the main area before that we had access to the dark mode. So right now, when light mode is enabled, it's no longer highlighted. As you can see, it's the opposite behavior now. So when you go into dark mode, then it's highlighted and vice versa. Also, it no longer says appearance dark. It's now appearance dark on, which is kind of dumb. There's no reason for that. And light mode is just appearance dark off. And I'm guessing because of the appearance of this control center toggle, Apple has removed the dark appearance one from the accessibility shortcuts. That's no longer an option. In the control center, if you 3D touch on an icon like low power mode, now it gets activated. Previously, it would not. Also the flash toggle here, if you toggle it and then swipe up without removing your finger, it now works. Previously, that did not work. You had to remove your finger and then apply it again. Unknown why, but if you three finger tap on your home screen or the lock screen, it brings up the cut, copy and paste controls here for manipulating text. Same thing goes on the lock screen. Unknown why Apple would add that, but yeah, it's available. And by far my favorite change in this beta is the improved 3D touch controls. So let's go ahead and 3D touch at the same time. You'll notice they're faster. They appear faster on screen now. So Apple has brought back the native iOS 12-like 3D touch behavior back to this latest beta. It's amazing. And there are a few other very subtle changes here. So when you 3D touch, notice the menu above. It doesn't pop up from behind the icon. It pops up above it. So that's a very slight animation change. Also the settings icon pops out further. So icons are now larger when 3D touched. And the same goes for haptic touch. So if you hold on an icon, it actually will present itself faster than before. So not just for 3D touch. Also if we 3D touch on an icon with a badge, notice how it hides behind the platter now before it would stick out above it. With dark mode enabled, if you 3D touch on an app with an unoptimized widget view, it will appear white now. An annoying issue that's been fixed, when you first drag an app to move it and let go, and it disappears on beta five, now it no longer does that. Also, when rearranging applications, in this new beta, I noticed that the X icons are translucent, so they're no longer this static gray color. They're a lot more reflective of the color behind them very subtle. And the same goes for the folders. Folders themselves absorb color behind them even more now. And for better or for worse, they stick out less. And after updating, you'll get a couple new prompts. The Bluetooth prompt has been updated with a new description, letting you know which application is using your Bluetooth data. And also there's a new one here for location. So any application that's been tracking you for a significant amount of time, it'll let you know the locations actually, and obviously I blurred them out, but this is new. After you update, when you open photos, you'll see this new splash screen, just slightly tweaked, letting you know what's new in photos. In photos, the bottom controls now are smaller, slightly more refined, and up top, 
edit button is smaller. Now in beta 6, when selecting multiple photos, you can actually peek and pop into them while they're selected without deselecting them. Previously, you could not do that. And yet another feature that Apple reversed course on is the rounded screenshots. In beta 5, when you'd screenshot inside a native application, that's the look you would get. And technically that's the truth. This is dishonest over here because it's giving you extra pixels that you do not have. And the share sheet, one of the features where Apple just cannot stop making tweaks here. I noticed that previously where some names were appearing incorrectly or not at all, they are fixed now. Also the order, the default order over here, the positioning has been adjusted. So these are the default controls up here, just copy photo, then these are clumped together, and you've got the last bunch over here. Of course, all of those can still be adjusted. And the icons for the Apple Watch and Files app, which were looking a little stringy, are now more solid and fixed. And Apple just cannot make its mind up about the top corner X. It's now reversed in size, where previously it kept growing and then shrinking. Now it's smaller again. And a change I most definitely did not expect to see in the camera application, which hasn't been touched in years, is this bolder zoom icon here. It now has a white border, more easily discernible against a black background, and also while zooming, it's still present. Very nice. Siri can now toggle dark mode in the latest beta. Also in the splash screen within Siri, I noticed that some of the options here are different. So if you scroll down, there's a new one here for find my devices and weather and stocks now use the Siri icon where previously they were using their individual app icons. When taking a screenshot of a website, if you select full page on beta five, you couldn't go back, it just snapped into position. Now you can on beta six, so you can reverse back to the screen. And now in Safari, when 3D touching on a link, you have a new option to hide link previews here. So once again, when we 3D touch on it, you no longer get that preview. And likely as a result of that option, Apple has removed the option to show link previews in Safari settings. When opening the App Store for the first time, the splash screen has been updated here. App Updates is now Updates Location with a new description. In the App Store, Apple has once again shrunk the sizing of your avatar, and in doing so, the badge is no longer cut off now. In your updates, if I 3D touch on this icon, it now appears smaller, so the preview for an app update. And previously in iOS 13 beta 5 and earlier, if you shared a link to an app in the App Store, someone on iOS 12, if they opened it, it would crash their phone. That no longer happens. And Podcasts gets a slightly adjusted splash screen here. Siri Suggestions replaces something for everyone. In Maps, when navigating, the button for Overview has been replaced by Share ETA. Sorry, I'm having some sort of bug with the screen brightness on the left. But when 3D touching in the Notes application, it now zooms you in even further, whereas over here you have access to your controls. Now on Beta 6, you actually have to scroll upwards to access them. Now in the music application, this one's a bit hard to notice, the play button is not aligned within the arrows. It's too much to the right and too high. Now it's been fixed in a beta six. And when playing, you'll notice the pause button is smaller now. Now in the files app, when 3D touching on an icon in the middle, you'll notice the platter is aligned vertically. And you'll notice a couple options have been removed. One for remove download and the other for pinning is no longer available now in beta six. Also when 3D touched, icons now have a shadow behind them. Previously, they did not. In the Shortcuts app, the 3D Touch platter is now more refined, smaller. And the top right one for me, I'm not sure if this is a bug or what, but it triggers the move around mode. It doesn't actually open any sort of platter. And the shortcut action for open app on Apple TV has been removed in beta six. When selecting a live wallpaper, the controls on the bottom have been fixed. Now they're brighter, more indicative in the dark. And for whatever reason, the previews for the dynamic wallpapers are broken. They still work and all, just not visible from the preview stage. In the wallpaper settings, the toggle for dark appearance dims wallpaper no longer works in beta six. This is what it should look like, but it refuses to change. In settings, apps no longer have access to all of those hidden permissions that we got access to for whatever reason in beta five, such as face ID and stuff that Apple usually manages. Now it's been hidden. And in your family sharing settings, there's a new tab for Apple Arcade where you can share those settings. I just can't get mine to work for whatever reason. Another backpedal from Apple is announce messages with Siri. This feature has been removed from beta six and that includes the control center toggle. Apple has removed that entirely. Likely will make a return in future versions of iOS 13. In the 3D and haptic touch settings, the preview for 3D touch has been made smaller. In the switch control settings, in the head tracking tab, 
Here, show head tracking in menu is now called head tracking and there's a new description to boot. Now, Steve Trotton Smith points out that there are new actions, long press and 3D touch for a mouse control, although you can't do anything with it yet. It opens up the opportunity for a contextual menu like a right click, but a more modern version with 3D touch. With dark mode enabled in the legal and regulatory settings, in here, the icons, everything is appearing as it should be and the date has been updated. Also immediately after updating, some of you will notice that iOS wants to remove some older apps which are no longer supported in the App Store and uh, it'll ask you to delete them on the spot. And in the latest beta six of watchOS, there's a new heart icon here for monitoring your heart rate. And one I missed from earlier, whenever you have some predictive text that can be replaced with an emoji, the interface for it has changed. It's now this very nice platform. And when you miss a call, the icon to call them back is much larger now depending on where it came from. And lastly, the Geekbench with my very hard to see display, I have some bug going on. Multi-core score is lower this time around. Performance is great. Like I gotta tell you, it's very satisfying now to click on the 3D touch icon when it responds right away. It was annoying me so much in the first betas, so I'm glad that Apple resolved that. Okay, that's the latest beta. Hope you enjoy it. Peace.